Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm My name is. Good. My name is Abigail. It's nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. I'm Sultan from Saudi Arabia. Do you think teaching online is better or in person? Do you want to go back? Both have some pros and cons, but I prefer teaching online because it is not too much hectic. Uh, you uh, like class management, class controlling is very difficult when you teach online. So it is manageable. Moreover, you don't have to give some extra duties which you have to perform in schools. For example, uh, break duties, assembly duties, and there are so many other things to do uh, when you are in school. Yeah, that was the reason that I did not enjoy teaching in person in the United States. Uh, there are many extra duties and the number of children that one teacher has is way too high. Uh, what is the strength of the class? Yeah, so one yes. teacher per 40 students. 40 students? Yeah, <laughs> it's too wow. difficult to manage because 40 students. Great. Right. Because uh, in my school, I usually have 20 to 25 students in mm -hmm. each class. So I teach fourth graders. I have uh, three different sections. Mm. So I taught in a junior high. Um, we had eight periods, so the students would change classrooms eight times a day. Uh, and each teacher teaches seven classes, and each class has 40 students, so 40 times seven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, I just talked to some other uh, tutors on Camly. Uh, and I came to know that in America and uh, uh, these uh, Western countries, one teacher has to teach multiple subjects in a class. Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. okay. So you teach different subjects to the same class? Mm, it depends on how old the children are. Okay. Uh, so until they are 10, they spend the entire day with the same teacher, and that teacher is in charge of teaching them everything from math to music to English to science. Uh, after they are 10, they go to a school where they have eight different teachers, and each teacher is responsible for teaching them a subject. But sometimes there are not enough class periods for seven periods of a subject. So a teacher might teach three periods of US history and four periods of English. Okay, interesting. Don't the teachers and the students get bored? Because uh, like you mentioned that until the age of 10, they have the same teacher who teaches them all the all all the subjects so don't the students get bored with the same teacher in each and every class uh i would say that that is not the case uh, because okay. in the u.s uh teachers spend so much time with the children because they teach them everything until they're 10 that it is almost like they are a third parent. Okay. The students become very emotionally attached. Yes, obviously. When they yeah. spend uh, that much time with the teacher. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is the duration of the school? How, how much time do they spend in the school? 
Uh, they spend eight hours a day in school. Eight hours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, similar. Yeah. So a teacher for a whole year spends 40 hours a week with their children. And teachers in the US will often call their students their children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's great. So uh, tell me what is your opinion about uh, the online and uh, physical in person? Which um, one is better? Yeah, so I think that uh, it's better once the students are past a certain age to be online. Um, because there is a lot of difficulty for the teacher in the classroom management, but also for the students in that uh, traveling to another location, um, dealing with any possible financial difficulties in like paying for the school's lunches and the extra fees that come with an in-person school. And a lot of teenagers especially are very sleep deprived because their brains are going through so many changes. And if they spend an hour every day being driven to and from school, that is an hour that is wasted that they could have been sleeping so that their brain is better prepared for class. Precisely. I do agree with you. I think that classes should have less students so that the teacher can also focus on each and every student. And uh, you don't have to teach only. You, uh, the teacher has to check their uh, homework, their classwork, their writing, and their grammar stuff, each and everything. So uh, it is a lot if you have students in each class. Yeah, uh, many teachers in the United States, uh, sadly, have to spend 10, 12 hours on Sundays grading work. Okay, it uh, sounds more like a full-time job. On Sundays, they have to work. Mm -hmm. They often have to work 10 hours a day, seven days a week. And they so, get paid so little that they still have to have a second job sometimes. So how do they manage two jobs? Uh, sometimes they work as a cashier at a shop in the evenings after school. And then they come back from work and grade papers for three hours or so after working in the shop. And then... They get five, six hours of sleep and they do it all over again. Oh my God. Teaching in America is not a kid's stuff. It is a Herculean task. Yeah, it's very difficult uh, and people do not treat teachers well here. Um, we have a teacher shortage right now, which is part of the reason the classes are so big because uh, no one wants to be a teacher. The working conditions are very poor. So uh, you are still teaching or you have quit? So I actually taught for three years uh, after I graduated from college. And then I decided that the conditions were too poor and I changed careers, which is very common. Uh, what do you do now? I'm a full-time uh, ESL teacher online. How long have you been on Cambly? Uh, three, four months. Three, four months, okay. Yeah. Great. It's a so relatively new thing that I'm doing. Uh, I decided that I wanted to have some more flexibility. <laughs> Yes, uh, this is much better than the physical classes that uh, you have your own flexible timings mm -hmm. and uh, 
But at home, you don't need to commute. You don't need to go anywhere else. So yeah. it's time saving, it's energy saving, and it's very convenient. It is. Uh, I split my time between Cambly and the company where I teach the Chinese children. So mm -hmm. I work about six to nine hours a week on Cambly, and the rest I work for the other company. Great. How long have you been on Cambly? Uh, <clears throat> I have been on Cambly for almost one year. Are you satisfied with the classes? Uh, yes, I am. Actually, it depends on the teacher. If your teacher is good, if your tutor is good, then it is uh, very good. And secondly, I personally feel that it is a bit expensive. So mm -hmm. I have only subscribed for uh, two days a week, half hour, mm -hmm. two days a week, because uh, but it needs practice. The more you speak with others, the more you become fluent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to learn German right now, and uh, mm -hmm. I wish there was something like Cambly for that. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, but uh, these days, I think you can learn anything on YouTube. There are so many applications. There are so many videos. Uh, you can do a lot. Even I started uh, learning Arabic uh, one year ago. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, I quitted. I didn't continue uh, after taking 85 lectures. So now I've gotten everything. But mm -hmm. uh, now I, I want to uh, just practice it again. I want to brush up on my Arabic language one more time because I have uh, time these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that it's great that you can learn anything on YouTube, but it does not replace talking to a native speaker. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That is the one thing I miss learning German is uh, not being able to practice with someone who speaks it. Yes, but there is an application like italki. Have you heard of it? I have not. The people there, they can practice any language, whatever they can with other people. Cool. Okay, oh, it's nice talking to you. Bye. Don't have time. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>